Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as the Scottish Empire. We have just finished a zoo in Chris Walters. A little bit of housekeeping to do. We need to rename one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cities. Let's rename Diara to Don Funk, Haddington to Nye Fan, Roxborough will become Dick Splash, Edinburgh will become Carl of the Wild. Perth becomes Sam Freiheiter. Scone becomes Seajour 6. Cullen becomes Old Red. And finally, Forrest becomes Michael Reglein. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you want to get your name in the Patreon list, you can also support on Patreon. Back to our regularly sch re regular scheduled programming. Uh, we are getting our research labs up. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase myself a little research lab in Chris Walters. It might also be good for me to build sewers because we would like to boost suffrage. If we build four sewers, we get democracy. So I may as well pump up a sewer here. I'm going to need at least four of those. That is just a minimum required uh, for entry, really. Let's have a look. Do we have any city-state trade quests? No, we do not. Let's have a look at potential all, highest gold. Maybe we can get a lot of money here. Michael Reglein to Alexandrupoli would be quite a good trade route. We are allied with him. Ah, okay, so what we need to do here is to take out Diplomatic League and plug in the very healthy Vissel Banken. Boom, boom, boom. And now these trade routes will look a little bit more attractive. Now, where had I decided that I would build my spaceports? Let's go ahead and take a look at the list of our cities. If we come in here under resources or yields, we organize by most resources. So Philip Keel is obviously the best city to build a spaceport, but there's no flat land here, okay? That is just uh, an unfortunate reality that we have to deal with. What about Dick Splash? Let's have a look here. Well, we could do a spaceport in Dick Splash, so I think I might start moving. I'm gonna have to say the word Dick Splash for the rest of the game. Let's, let's, let's reconsider this. I'm going to do Call of the Wild because <laughs> I just I don't want to say Dick Splash <laughs> every time I talk about my spaceport. <laughs> um, so this is going to be the spaceport city. I'm going to go ahead and pop down a little spaceport right there. Um, doesn't matter exactly where it goes. The important thing is that it's down there on the ground. Now, what that means is I'm going to start moving a lot of my trade routes to that city, uh, specifically so that we can maximize our production and gold, or rather our production and food in the city to maximize the total amount of resources that the city can produce towards the spaceport project. So that is the hope, that is the desire, that is the goal. How far along we get in that direction, we may not ever know. Um, let's go ahead and keep on pillaging. A little coastal raid right there. Um, why don't you pop forward? You can do another little coastal raid right there. We got a little bit of cash, a little bit of faith. It's a great opportunity for my empire. Move forward, see if we can kill this. Shoot him. Boom. Boom. And boom. Yep. Getting kills. Most important thing is what we're doing is basically we're trying to get free damage on India right now. Anything we can kill damage or force repairs on is just a victory and in fact i'm gonna go ahead and purchase myself another privateer because there's a couple of tiles in here that i think would be worth pillaging if i could sneak in grab these two tiles send another couple privateers around like there's quite a bit of his empire that's exposed to easy privateer attacks the more damage we can do to his economy the better off we are and here's the thing we don't need to like destroy his economy it's just like if we can get damage on his economy for free while also technically improving our own economy i think that's just worth it right like i that's just, if this was, like, it's a strategy game, and that just seems like a perfect move. It's a move where we get an advantage uh, while also hurting our opponent. We did just get radio, so we do have access to seaside resorts and aluminium. Um, we have landed on a source of aluminum, which means going for advanced flight is the play. I'm going to cancel the, well, I'm not going to cancel the construction of a privateer. I need to find a place where I can make an aerodrome. It looks like Seajour 6 is my location. We're going to immediately start the aerodrome district. Um, we will finish that first. We'll be pumping a lot of money in here. We'll probably buy like the buildings, the airport and stuff like that, and then buy the planes themselves. So we just want to get this built because we can't actually buy it unless we have Reyna heavily leveled up. We've got the Ferris wheel in Carson Kinney, keeping amenities nice and high. We could justify an aquarium here. This would hit quite a lot of stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a sewer. That'll be my second of four sewers. We did manage to co fully complete a campus here. I'm going to buy the library. I'm going to buy the university because, again, we're trying to pump as much science as possible. And then I will get this place to build a sewer. And by the time we finish the sewer, we should be ready to purchase the research lab. So it'll look pretty good. Um, we want to play it very carefully out here. We don't want to expose our units to unnecessary danger. Necessary danger, I have no problem with. Unnecessary danger, I, I have a problem with. Uh, why don't you go ahead and consume his soul to make yourself slightly stronger. 
Um, so shooting here, while it would be free attacks, I don't think we need to. I think I would like to walk in with this caravel and see if I can yoink maybe this trader and this lighthouse. We'll see what we can do. We have to be careful with our ships. We don't want to lose anyone for free. We'll pillage that, kill that rock band, and then, you know, keep it all moving in the right direction. Uh, we could pillage this again. Nice. 350 gold. And then we can pillage here. We go 150 faith. Um, all right. Let's keep these caravels around just for protection purposes. No. Uh, our goal with this would be to get as much production and food as possible, which typically tends to be trading with Alexandrupoli in this in this particular scenario. That's going to be a great income and production boost for that city. Uh, you're going to head northeast as well. Everyone wants to buy my aluminium. So I think it's well and truly just because this is a domination game now, which I think is a good move for us and I think is the right direction we should be going in this particular game. So Cow of the Wild, I would like you... None of these wonders really particularly matter to me. I think it would be good to get another spy, so I'll get you to build that spy because I do have two out of three right now, so I can get another one. My privateer is in position. We'll coastally raid this. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot. Again, remember, we want to get damage where we can get damage for free. Pillage that. You swoop in over here. Attack him. Awesome. And then you attack him, and then we've killed a unit, we pillaged a district, and we've done damage to his economy and his just his empire uh, for very low cost. It, it cost me practically nothing to do this damage to his empire. Uh, let's bring our frigates forward so we can blast you, and then we can blast you again. Postally raid. Am I at war with a cad? I'm not at war with a cad, so that's fine. You head over this way, see if you can grab these tiles. I'm bringing up more privateers. The more pillaging we can do in his economy, the better position I'm in and the worse position he's in, which is exactly what we need to be doing right now. I'm going to move this trader over to Call of the Wild because setting up a potential spaceport thing here, just it's probably a good idea to, to consider a spaceport as an out for the victory here because we have a little bit of a problem. We're, we're going to be pursuing both a science victory and a domination victory. And the science victory is the like the kind of backup. I'm going to dedicate a single city to that, um, while the rest of my empire will be dedicated to the war. Okay, nice. We got the research lab up here in Dick Splash. Let's grab the sewer. I think that's our third or fourth sewer. We got cuirassiers in Yefan. I think we're going to go back to producing cuirassiers. I'm going to bring these horses down. I want to get this horse down to join these coursers and get a courser army that might be useful for a helicopter in the late game. Uh, you completed this. Let's drop the industrial zone. We've got a fully built campus here, pumping out stuff. Why don't you also build me a cuirassier? All right, we got some envoys that we need to pump out. Let's see, so lots of suzerainty. We could take over another gold-based city-state, which I like. Boom, I mean, another like 150 to 100 gold. We're very gold-heavy in this game, which is the plan. Um, we'll start moving cuirassiers over to the capital. Probably going to kill India first. I think we're never going to break this peace with him. Um, I think that's the plan: is to just annihilate him. Right, pillage, you step one tile to the right, you have a promotion, why don't you could take reinforced hull. You're a little vulnerable. There you go, you're over in position now to hit a campus. Um, I'm gonna keep the frigate just protecting over here if we can. I can farm quite a bit of experience on these guys. I've almost got plus one range on these frigates. You're moving forward. Pillage, there we go. We destroyed one of his industries too, which is really nice. And uh, let's get these privateers moving around the coast. I did lose a privateer, but I think that privateer managed to do so much pillaging that it actually came out to be worth it. Coastally raid that bad boy. Looks like he's building the Golden Gate Bridge, which is a bit of an odd decision. I don't don't entirely disagree with it. Um, let's trade with Amphip Amphipopolis. Nice, plus one error score because we just discovered advanced flight. I'm gonna move you one tile to the right, pillage that for health, move you one tile down, pillage this for gold. You are in position to pillage this coastal thing. I should probably plug in the coastal pillaging card. Um, I don't really have room in my government, so I'm not too fussed about it. Would be good to get rocketry, particularly because it would be nice to do the Earth satellite. So I might just grab that so we could slowly work on the spaceport stuff. Then I definitely wanna get oil and tanks, so we'll head towards refining. Um, do I want electricity? Submarines? No, submarines require oil. You almost always want to jump straight to the nuclear sub. So we'll we'll skip that for now. Depends on how badly I want shipyards. Right, we got the water park at the capital. Let's grab the Ferris wheel because we don't have that much headroom on amenities. All right, we kill this warrior maybe? So like get damaged. Well, it's, it's mostly the free experience from fighting. Um, you took a shot. Why don't you move here and combine with this guy to get healed up a little bit. You pillage that. You're scouting for me. Let's send the privateers through the gap. And we may as well... Well, we'll combine the frigates soon. And um, what do we got? I don't think we can safely pillage in here. There's too much zone of control. Like, 
moving around it between us. All right, this guy actually managed to survive by one health, which is amazing. Uh, we also managed to steal 800 gold. Uh, you have no more pillages once you run back to safe territory. You continue to coastal raid for me. Uh, we will grab Nikola Tesla. Boom. Our good friend Nikola Tesla. So he makes buildings reach farther. Let's go to the city overlap. We'll go to range. So there's an industrial zone here. Uh-huh. And if I brought it up to range 12, which is what I might be able to do, it could do a lot. I could have this industrial zone hit my capital. And there is no industrial zone here. It would also hit Cal of the Wild. Be quite nice. This would be a very nice production boost for my capital because these guys do not have any factories. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I really want you to go to that tile. Now, whether or not that works, we don't know. Uh, we got the research lab. Let's grab a sewer. Uh, we managed the sewer in Carson Kinney. I think it would be good for us to get to buy the factory and coal power plant now. Factory. Boom. Uh, we might go for your... We probably will go for uranium power plant in this city, actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, sewer is completed. We could go for the aquarium. Um, Quarassiers, I think, are the play. We want to make sure we're using up our iron. We want to pre-build as many tanks as possible. You are going to move east. You don't really have a job aside from trying to shoot enemy units near the coastline. Privateer moving up into position to get a little stealing done. Pillage here, excellent. A little bit of faith, a little bit of gold. I would say the war with India has been fairly successful, even though I don't think we started it. Let's go ahead and do con artists. You'll be a better siphoning of funds guy, um, which I'm a big fan of. First cuirass here is hit Philip Keel. So I think we'll kill India, then we'll maybe kill Gaul when our alliance runs out. Gaul will give us an in with Maya. I think that's the play. We got the industrial zone in Sam Freiheiter. Let's go ahead and I'll just buy the workshop to let that go. And I guess, let's double check this. I want to kill Venice. I kind of like Venice. It's giving me a lot of gold. Gold-based city-states are kind of hard to justify killing. Although we are technically at one. Well, I think we got to keep them. keep them. I do think observation balloons are useful. So I'll go ahead and start pre-building some of those. You would love to start building some artillery. Don't have the stuff. I'll go ahead and just buy the research lab. Keep that science pumping. Hard build the workshop. Pillage this campus one more time for another 155 science. It's not a huge amount of science, but it does add up. We'll move you forward a tile, pillage this, move you forward a tile, and pillage this. Pick it up yet more gold. Lovely, lovely gold. Gold is one of my favorite things in Civ 6. It's just it's so it's so fun to get it. Alright, Autogust, let's go ahead and keep stealing gold from the Malian Empire. And you snuck your way through here to get a few pillages off. Not much worth of pillaging over here. There are a couple of pillages, so I will send you in that direction. We got a mega colossal eruption. Oh, well, big damage. Suffrage has advanced considerably. There's rocketry. We've got mobilization. We're choosing our civics. There's ideology. We got a governor title. Ability to build another spy. We got a sewer. Let's upgrade this guy to Corsair because we want to combine them together to an army, eventually becoming a helicopter. We got the sewer and Chris Walters. Very nice. It's hard to build a medic for my eventual ground army. Be useful to have. I misclick there. Um, be useful to have. Dick Splash. Having a little think about what kind of military stuff would be useful. Be nice to get a great general, actually. But that's like eight, that's like 20,000 skadoodlies. I guess pre-building a trebuchet, not a terrible thing. Pre-building some coursers as well. Coursers, cavalry, the whole nine yards. Yep. Coursers, cavalry. Anything that has hooves right now, I think, is a good choice. Anything else, I think, is not so great a choice. Let's build that aquarium. We got Michael Regline. Repair that industrial zone that just got bombed. Well, blown up. Uh, I'll grab Victor because he's a loyalty stick. He will help me out as I continue to conquer. My little Carvel's going to heal up and then we'll trade. Not with Zanzibar, actually. We're going to move this trader down to Call of the Wild. Remember, we're trying to centralize all of our trade routes into a single city for the purpose of building that city up as much as possible, thereby making that city way more effective at doing a science victory. So that is the purpose of that. Would love to get access to some coal. Didn't manage it. Right, industrial zone completed here. Let's go ahead and grab our workshop. We'll pillage this resource right here. Boom. Move you back this way. Why don't you coastally raid for health? Then I want you to uh, pillage for gold. And coastally raid here. There we go. Then nice, you finished printing. Plus three combat strength and war. I uh, probably should have got that a long time ago. But hey, you know what, man? Sometimes you're just playing a little bit of Civ and you don't you don't play super optimally. It just it just is the way that it is. Allison, I would like you to gain Ace Driver so you have a better chance of escaping. Um, Call of the Wild, I would like you to trade for High Gold with Alexandria. Very nice. 
Oh, I'm going to go ahead and maybe buy another. Can I justify another trader? No, nope, looks like I've got a trader sitting around somewhere. Yep, there it is. Let's move it to Call of the Wild. You are definitely going to want a neighborhood. So I'll put the plus five neighborhood right there uh, because you're going to have a massive excess of food. So extra housing would be fantastic. No peace, refuse deal. All right, Andre Andrade Braga. Campus Research Grants, Water Park. Uh, let's grab a Karasir again. Karasir is the precursor to a tank, so it's quite useful for us to grab. More Karasirs heading north. These two guys could probably be combined. I'll grab the supply fleet and then combine them together so they have a nice healthy four promotions. Units do combine their promotions together when you combine them, if they have different promotions. It's a fun little thing. I'll grab a Corsair. Yeah, we'll trade with Alexandria by the Latamus. A little bit of cash there. Okay, Lady Six Sky is scary. Lady Scary Sky. Let's have a look. So, Sam, where did I build that aerodrome? I built it over here in Seajor. Let's go ahead and buy the hangar. We'll buy the airport. Boom. And then we'll start buying bombers. One bomber, two bombers, and then I want to buy a fighter next turn. I'll start moving these bombers towards the front line. Jabalpur will probably be the first place that we look to conquer. Um, and then we'll go from like Jabalpur to Calcutta. We might want to settle a city down here to act as an airbase on Majurai. We'll figure it all out. We have a spy. I'm going to move him to probably Patna. Pillage here. Pillage here. You get a little coastal raid in. Lovely. There's military science completed. Oh yeah, lovely. We've pillaged so much science with this guy. We've completely crippled the science economy. Like stolen so much gold. East Wunderbar. So two aluminium is all we have actually so we can only really afford these two bombers which is fine let's get them rebasing i've got one in chris walters and i will rebase the other one into carson kinney next turn we should be able to start bombarding uh jabal Pur. pop you into here to heal up let's bring this frigate around maybe we can get some vision on the city um we will need a unit that can actually fight we've got the ferris wheel in the capital Let's build a Highlander for Aeroscore, I guess. Research lab completed in Sejor. Don't have much more aluminum. Let's do a quick strategic resource scan in my empire. So I'm going to use the extra map modes that I have installed. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. That's okay. Oh, we're going to be picking up oil soon. And hopefully we find oil. It's a, it's a coastal map. There should be oil. If there's not oil, something's fucked up. Something's really messed up. Heavy chariots, by the way. Amazing for upgrading into tanks. So always build them if you have a chance to and you're planning to go for any late game war stuff. Let's go ahead and pop Nikola Tesla in Carson Kinney to give the nice AOE on these buildings. Any opportunity to level up my units by shooting uh, enemy, sh enemy stuff is always worth it, in my opinion. Experience is a resource and your units can only gather so much experience per turn. So every turn that they're not gathering experience is actually in ideal. Right, there's refining. We did find oil. We are pulling in some oil. Three per turn. We're going to move here. Let's have a look. We discovered one source of oil inside our empire. That's not great, considering how much land we just got. Um, okay, we can make this work. We can make it work. So we're going to put a privateer on this tile so we can see the city of Jabalpur. Then we're going to use bombers on the city of Jabalpur to slowly take it out. It'll take me a few turns, but it will be taken out. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a Giga Khorasir. Go. There's a Khorasir army. Um, we do have rocketry. I'm going to pop back down the city of Cal of the Wild, and I'm going to, to get started on the spaceport. It'll take a while to build the spaceport. Remember, that's kind of part of the goal. We're, we're slowly going to build it up. Uh, amenities have died. Let's go ahead and buy as many amenities as we can. And that should bring us down to a much more reasonable 25 turns on that spaceport. Awesome. Uh, right. We definitely want aircraft carriers. We want tanks. We want aircraft carriers, so we'll start working our way towards that. The aircraft carrier will be basically a way for us to transport these bombers towards the Mayan Empire. We might be able to kill a little bit of India and then move on towards the Mayan Empire. Um, how much does it cost me to purchase a settler right now? They're actually pretty cheap, 1500 gold. We might be able to do some reorganization of this Indian Empire, pop a couple cities down, build them up. You know the drill. It might be good for me to get more commercial hubs. The city amenities are a bit low. I'm going to go for the entertainment complex in here. Old Red, why don't you build me an industrial zone? Bum, 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 bum. Let's promote you with Garrison Commander to give you the AoE loyalty ability. That is the main goal of him, is to provide loyalty in an AoE during my conquests. We're going to go ahead and use Nikola Tesla again. This will give this regional building's range another three tiles. So it'll have a base range of six plus six because we've got to use him twice thanks to the mausoleum, meaning it'll reach 12 tiles in a radius, hitting my capital city with the factory buff, which is fantastic. 
Uh, and in fact, it's a plus seven factory now rather than a plus three. So it's uh, twice as efficient uh, without power. We will eventually want to power this city, um, but a coal power plant doesn't make sense here. Oil power does kind of make sense, actually. Yeah, let's get oil power, then we'll go for combined arms. Pop in there. Well, you actually have a promotion, so I'm going to pop you back and then take the loot promotion. You're going to come in here. You're going to coastally raid. You're going to pop in here. Pillage. So the level of value we've gotten from hitting this guy with my navy is, is amazing. It's like hundreds, if not thousands of science, hundreds, if not thousands of faith. It has been a productive war for us, both in terms of the experience of our military uh, and the resources that we're going to be stealing from him after we fight him a bit. There is an aid request for the Gaul. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I could get silver pretty easily. So let's just drop him like 200 gold. Get myself silver pretty handy. Um, we'll coastally raid this for 351 gold. Um, we will continue bombing this city with our bombers. I need to get a unit that's capable of killing that city in range. The Quirassier is probably the unit. There's a goddamn rock band right there. Oh my god, 20 gold from a seaport? That's amazing. We should start building those immediately to fuel our late game armies and stuff. Plus two era score for building a neighborhood for the first time. You're in position to get upgraded. Let's go ahead and combine you together, as is the plan. I've got a Corsair army here. I guess you can become cavalry. You're not quite strong. Well, I guess you're kind of on a similar par as this. We can hit Jabapur with the Khoras here. But remember, our goal is to make sure that we can bomb that city down to a certain level. These guys are leveling up too. 46 turns on Lady Six Guy. So yeah, the time is running out. We might not even get to conquer all of India before we have to turn on Maya and start killing her. What we really need to do, we just need to break her. We just need to get her to stop being as effective. She needs to be, she needs to be slowed, she needs to be slowed down. Uh, so that's probably going to involve missile cruisers as a transition. So we're probably going to go into like aircraft carrier and missile cruisers as well. Jet bombers will be a great transition too, but we'll, we kind of have to play every tech here very carefully as we navigate towards the end of the tech tree um, in a domination game. All right, little privateer over here, ready to coastal raid that airport down for me because it's worth gold and it also prevents him from building airplanes. Nice, mission success, 900 gold from Autogust. We've also unlocked steel, so we have access to artillery now. If we do in fact want to play around with artillery, I don't, I think our airplanes and our boats are artillery and most of our land army wants to be like high speed tanks. I will take this uh, great admiral here. 25% less war weariness is actually pretty useful in a game where we've decided to go for um, a pretty late game domination play actually. So we're going to retire him. Really want to level these guys up. I think I'll go for box formation into close air support. It will mean that it takes an extra turn to conquer the city, but I think that's worth it if it means I have highly leveled units. We're also going to go for seaports everywhere that we can. It's a 25% combat experience for all naval units that are trained in the city. Most importantly, it puts, puts plus two gold on all coastal tiles and an extra 20 gold in the city. It's just a really, really valuable way to make a lot of money. Late game seaports, really good. The observation balloon, I'm just going to put that asleep because I don't actually know if it's very useful. But we're definitely going to be building seaports because every single one of these city states that we bring up to a level three relationship will give us an extra six gold on our seaports, which is insane. We did take suzerainty of uh, Bandar Brunei which is really nice. And it looks like some of these buildings along the coastline are starting to get repaired, which means we should be swooping in for more pillaging. How's the science victory looking? Seonduk is on phase two, which is fine. 45 turns until Lady Six Guy's culture victory. Who is the number one culture guy who's fighting against her? Looks like it's Ambiorix, so we need to maintain a cultural alliance with Ambiorix if we can and trade everything that we can with him. That's going to be part of our late game goals. Let's purchase some more luxuries to keep our amenities high. Simon the Spy in Audigust can level up again. I do like Seduction for defending against the Science Victory. And this guy's honestly, he's really well set up. He's got Polygraph for defense. He's got Seduction for defense. And he's got Con Artist to level up. So I'm going to go ahead and move him into Call of the Wild eventually to protect this spaceport, which is our backup win condition. Just dedicate a single city to it. Uh, we're in a pretty good position for a Science Victory, but we're not focusing everything onto it because just it has become necessary for us to defeat our opponents in the field of battle because of the level of culture victory that they're pulling off. One of the things that Civilization VI taught me is that war solves almost all of your problems. At least in the game. <laughs> um, Jabalpur, we're going to blast that city. Jabalpur will blast it again. Um, now, can the Khorasir finish it? I don't think the Khorasir can, unless I were to move the frigate in. Blast with the frigate, then the Khorasir can take the city. Boom. And we just stole a huge amount of value from this enemy empire. We'll keep that city. We should totally start focusing on culture if we can. I mean, we're a little bit behind on that, but taking out other empires is useful. Let's build those seaports. Entertainment complex built up here. I'll grab the arena and then the seaport in here. Arena for amenities, seaport for gold. 
when I have a really, really strong gold line when the when the late game hits. So with the conquest of Jabalpur, we can maybe move on to fighting Calcutta. See if we can't quote unquote kill all these rock bands. Let's get them out of my territory. Spaceport here that I need to blast. Make sure we kill that so they can't, you know, do a little spaceporting. We do a little spaceporting. Uh, combine these two together. Let's do a little fun siphoning. August. Now, I'll move my cavalry forward here to get vision of the city of Calcutta. Are you in range to bomb it? You are just barely in range. So we'll begin the bombing of Calcutta. I don't think you're in range, so we're going to move you to Jabalpur. Um, we can start blasting Calcutta. I would love to kill that city. And so if we can pull it off, I'd be happy. And then we retreat the cavalry back to a safe position. Let's heal up this guy. You're going to come forward and you'll become a tank for a thousand gold which is fantastic because these tanks can actually do pretty good damage to these cities. They can like hit them a couple times before they get into real trouble. Let's go ahead and um, do a listening post inside of India's territory. This will give us extra diplomatic visibility, so we'll do extra damage when we attack, which is part of the goal. We want a plus three damage on bombers attacking a city. It might not sound like much, but it might be the difference between uh, four turns to conquer a city and three. We really would like to know where there's more aluminium. There's some over here. I'm scanning... Scanning. There's some over here in Maya. It'd be good to conquer that. Some up there. None in India. Like, literally none. There's some next to Granada. We would maybe like to get suzerainty of the Granada and improve that. But yeah, just as it currently stands, our ability to make an air force is just really limited because of the lack of, um, lack of aluminum. We need to start gearing up for the war with the Mayan Empire. It's going to have to start happening very soon. And I mean super soon because they are getting close to victory. Um, I think it's 25 turns until they win. And that might only get faster as time goes on. Plus four error score for training my unique unit. We also stole 600 gold. 15 turns until they win. That's really not good. They must have researched computers or something recently. All right. One turn until aircraft carriers. So we have another turn where we can bomb Calcutta. One bomb on Calcutta. One bomb on Calcutta. Let's start transitioning our navy in the direction of the Mayan Empire. They've done all they can here. And so now it's, start, it's, time, it's time to move them where they'll be more useful. All right, let's go ahead and build that seaport. That's going to be 26 gold. We got the granary here in Jabalpur. Let's go ahead and repair the neighborhood. Usually, whenever I conquer a new city, I just do some repairs on it. Uh, this tank, I can totally swoop in and blow up the city a little bit, but I'm not going to. I may try to take the city of Calcutta and then sue for peace with India, get some money out of them. I'm also going to see if I can buy a whole bunch of aluminum because then I can overbuild bombers by two and I'll have 40 turns of overbuilt bombers. If I overbuild by three... I would have 23 turns and I can always buy more aluminium. So let's do a third bomber. And I think it's also good to get a fighter. And then we'll get um, two aircraft carriers. I could go up to six, but that would be 10 turns. It would be 50% more air power. You know, maybe we could make that work, especially if we're going to conquer some aluminium. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll play, maybe we'll do it. We'll, we might make a dangerous play here where we overbuild, we overbuild air, air, air power and see if we can make that work all right let's go ahead and take the promotion here you'll take the quartermaster that's a pretty good one all spies if if he's at home all spies operate at a higher level so you got gorilla leader ace driver i think ace driver plus disguise makes him a really really mobile and safe uh spy hong kong why do you have two settlers it would be really cool if you could buy like the stolen civilian units from city-states. I feel like there's so many little things like that in this game that were kind of just like overlooked and not implemented. We don't want to be friends with the Maya. Uh, we want to go to war with them. So make sure to not renew that friendship. Very, very important. Had I misclicked there, that would have actually lost me the game. My troops are merely passing by. Apologies. 23 turns until she wins. Progress towards capitalism has boosted. We're going to go ahead and immediately purchase ourselves the aircraft carrier. However, we don't need to put our bombers in that thing yet because it can't move this turn. So we still have a turn where we can um, blast the city of Calcutta. And I might even be able to eke out another turn after that. So now looking at the city of Calcutta. Oh... Maybe we can get through to it, blast you, upgrade you to a tank, move you to here. Might be able to get a second city out of this war, um, which was effectively a holding pattern war until the, the real war. We do have, we have uranium. Let's get started on fissile material. Uh, nukes might be useful here in the late game to get us through this stuff. Um, I did build an artillery. Let's bring it to the capital where it belongs. I'm not going to build another artillery. We'll build a seaport. The great news is I have a ton of privateers that I'll be able to run around and damage the Mayan Empire with um, when the time comes, which is just brilliant, really. Okay, Seajor. I've got a couple of boats here that I want to take out of the city. Then we'll come in here. We're going to go ahead and purchase ourselves the aircraft carrier. 
We're going to rebase the fighter and rebase a bomber in here. It's always good to have one bomber, one fighter, to be able to take out problematic units um, in your uh, in your thingy doodles, in your navies, which are now officially known as thingy doodles. You might not like it, but this is what peak language performance looks like. The thingy doodle plague of 2023. There's ideology. It's beautiful. We will hide you away. And we're going to go for fascism. We're not going for democracy. We're going for a little bit of fascism. That 15 per, plus 5 combat strength, minus 50, 15% war weariness, and a 50% production boost towards units. That's going to be useful for our late game war stuff. Probably shouldn't have built those sewers. Oh, well, it happens. Let's build that seaport. That's 26 gold per turn. Levy on mass, we don't need... Um, economic union, for sure we need. Triangular trade, we could probably live without. Probably don't need five-year plan anymore. Could use liberalism for the amenities. It's not super important. Maybe it would be good to get levy on mass. It's a lot of gold. Maybe it'd be better off to get total war so I can get extra pillaging resources. Um, but we are going to transition to, fa to to totalitarianism soon, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, we have th we're have we using three oil. I'm going to delete this artillery, which will allow me to upgrade one of my units to a destroyer, which will help me conquer these coastal cities slightly more efficiently. This aircraft carrier is going to move as far to the left as humanly possible. I would like more aircraft carriers just for the buffer of being able to combine these together to make them like happier and healthier in terms of their combat strength. Blast the city of Calcutta. Blast the city of Calcutta. You have a promotion then. Conquer the city with our tanks. So we've taken two cities from India for little to no cost, and then we're right on the doorstep of Patna, which is fantastic. Um, didn't quite get us anything in terms of strategic resources, but it does put us in a better position. I'm going to take Victor and assign him to Calcutta, and next turn I'll peace out India and see what we can do in the transition period. Let's move these traders to Cal of the Wild. Again, I want to centralize my traders in the city that I'm going to be building the spaceport in. The reason is very simple. The more productive that city is, the better for my space victory, which is now my backup victory type. Let's denounce the Maya, give us a chance to um, get a better war condition on them. Our main goal is to take out things like this. With 16 turns, I think we can maybe do it. Uh, super don't care about this. I would like to generate less grievances, actually. I'm going to put like 10 votes in there. It'd be great for this war that I'm about to declare. Uh, it would also be awesome if I got extra loyalty so maybe if I pop down here I can put a couple yeah if I could get extra loyalty it would mean I'd be able to um, conquer way easier otherwise I don't care yeah nice oh minus five loyalty per turn that's honestly the worst outcome really bad all right let's talk to India make peace um, I want to keep both your cities and I want all your money give me your toys give me your dies give me your great works of writing and I'll give you a little bit of gold um, we managed to take two cities basically you know little to no cost Supply convoy heading to the front line. Uh, bomber one, rebase you into here. Bomber two, promote you with close air support. CAS, keep moving these aircraft carriers. Now we want to create a web of ships that protect our aircraft carriers from retribution. That's the goal here. Build that seaport because it's worth 26 gold per turn. Bring the destroyer forward. Okay, so we want to talk to Ambiorix. We want to trade with as many of Ambiorix's cities as we can and then transition to a cultural alliance so that we can feed him extra culture. It won't be much, but it might buy us a little bit of time on the Lady Six Guys front. Let's see what we can do. The sea level is rising. Um, we're just going to have to not give a shit about that. we got way bigger fish to fry. Right, advanced ballistics is unlocked, so we do have anti-air guns as well as machine guns. The aquarium is done here in Don Funk. Let's grab that harbor. It's worth a lot of gold. Um, the city already produces an insane amount of gold anyway. All right, this bomber has leveled up. We're going to put him into this aircraft carrier. Keep moving this carrier forward. we got all the ships coming. We're ready, man. Here comes the Giga War. The good news is Maya is at war with most of the players in the game, so I might be able to get more people to join, which will hurt her culture per turn. Ooh, I need to watch out for that hurricane. Let's get this aircraft carrier to move back to a safe location. Lovely. We got the seaport up in Andre Andrade Baja. Braga? Braga? No. 39 turns until they win. That's okay. What is the science victory looking like also? Okay, so a couple people are looking a little bit scary on the science victory. Um, but I think the culture victory is a little bit more of a pressing issue. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves another spy. Our military is basically in position when it comes to our air force. We are going to need to declare the Cassus Belly soon. We need to wait one to two more turns. So it's just mostly going to be produce. It's going to be mostly manufacturing the web, which is basically a network of units around my 
um, aircraft carriers to prevent submarines from getting too close and getting kills on them. Uh, we're also going to start producing now the, um, excuse me, we're going to now also start producing the extra two bombers. And right before we declare the war, we're going to buy al aluminum off of the Mayan Empire because that's going to be the only empire we can't trade with once we're at war. So we want to buy for, from them for gold per turn, then immediately declare war to cancel the gold for, per turn, effectively, you know, betraying them economically and diplomatically and putting ourselves into a really advantageous position. So hopefully that kind of explains all the moves that I'm making and the general game plan. It's, it's, it's kind of important to understand the high level plans um, because once you understand the high level plan, all of the small basic moves that feed towards that plan become kind of obvious. We now have access to nuclear fission. I'm going to look for a city with high production. I'm going to pop in here. Let me have a look at my yields. Call the Wild or Carson Kinney. Okay, so we'll do the Manhattan Project in Carson Kinney. That'll take 16 turns. And then we can start producing nuclear devices. And we already have a little bit of a stockpile of uranium. We could also totally take a look and see if there's more uranium on the map. Honestly, I find it easier to just search uranium. No, uranium. Okay, so there's a source over here in Mali. There's a source down here in Tamutu. There's a source inside my empire and a source over here in Majorai. Maybe I should have conquered Majorai had I known that was there. I might have. It's okay. We'll still be able to produce enough nukes to actually make a difference. We definitely want to get jet bombers. That's going to be a significant push forward for our military. We could also do missile cruisers, although we don't have the oil to support that. Not without potential offshore oil rigs. So I think we're going to go for stealth bombers first because that gets us both offshore oil rigs as well as improved jet bombers. Then we'll head towards lasers to get missile cruisers and jet fighters. And by then we should have at least found some oil. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked at how little oil that I've managed to get inside my empire. It's like that one copy here. No coastal oil at all. I mean, it's all like over here, which we could totally make use of. God, all the oil spawned in this ocean. It's kind of insane. Let's do a little flick through. Oh, 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 oh. Some down here in Bandar Brunei. So if I, if I could get a builder down there, that wouldn't be bad. I could get that oil. If I could get a settler down here, I could get that oil. I think I am going to send a builder and settler down there because having two extra missile cruisers seems quite good. What's my closest city to this? Probably Calcutta. So how do I... What's the, what's the best way to get there? Let's grab this tank. And it's going to be mostly heading through fairly hostile waters. So city of Calcutta. I don't want to buy... I don't want to buy settlers in here because I don't want to depopulate the city because I need to keep the population high in order to keep the loyalty high. But I will be buying a builder here. Oh, I had a builder. Um, you run down here to Bandar Brunei. We've got the seaport in here. My gold is climbing back up. It is now time to declare the formal war. Boom. 100 grievances. We're now at war. Now here's the real meme. Can we get other people to join our war? So could we get Mali to join my ongoing war for like... Ah, uh, gold? Oh, he absolutely will join, you beautiful man. Sayon Duck, would you like to join my war for one gold? 74, no, it's not worth it. Anyway, the point of getting people to declare war on Lady Six Guy is she can't have open borders with them and she can't have trade routes with them, which will naturally slow down her culture victory, giving us time to kill her. All right, let's move the privateers forward so we can start getting pillages. I'm going to tentatively move my destroyer forward as well. We have vision of Yaks chilling. Let's begin the bombing of Yaks Chillin. One blast. These cities are actually fairly low combat strength. I'm going to deploy the fighter on the edge of Mayan territory to gain vision. And then the bomber will continue to hit Yaks Chillin. Start moving those privateers in. We want the privateers to hit the coastline. That is their purpose. And the older caravel style ships, they exist to, um, they exist to guard. I'm going to move you to here. You're going to... Stay right there. You're moving this way. All right, move a bomber onto one of my aircraft carriers. Excellent. We've got a carrier air group. Doing a little CAG. We can grab Mary Leakey. At the very least, she'll prevent someone else from getting tourism from sciencey stuff, uh, which does seem worth it to me. My destroyer could do serious damage to this city, but obviously we want to do it with um, these bombers first. So you have a level up. I will take level ups uh, because the extra range is handy. Uh, bomber, boom. We're looking at the very first city flipping to us already. Privateers in, on the coastline, ready to enact violence. Let's grab Yaks Chillin. Boom. Knowledge of nanotechnology has advanced. We got access to a whole bunch of nice resources here. The city does flip in three turns. Let's begin. Uh, we'll assign Victor to this city. We do need to double check. Calcutta is flipping. Let's go ahead and reassign Amani from Zanzibar to Calcutta. 
just to give the city just enough loyalty. I think we did lose suzerainty of Calcutta. Zanzibar. Yeah, we'll need to retake Zanzibar. It's fine that we're not Susan of Zanzibar. I mean, it is nice to get access to those strate- uh, luxury resources. It's not, it's not the end of the world. We're going to keep this city. We've got four turns. I think we can take Koba. Um, my tanks are starting to arrive. My frigates are starting to arrive. I've got even more privateers arriving. I've also got cavalry arriving. They can become helicopters potentially. I also forgot to buy the aluminium from her. It's fine. I will buy from Seonduk. 1,400 gold. Thank you to refill my coffers. Brilliant. All right, let's start working on Koba next. Uh, and we're going to redeploy this fighter over to here to start taking out some of her land units. That's what the fighter is for. The fighter is to trim back the land units. See, the fighters are extremely good. Extremely good at dealing damage to land units. Um, we need to take out as many of these cities as possible to continue the advance and hopefully to cripple her culture victory. Oh yeah, this little privateer over here just found an amazing spot, stealing hundreds of gold. We are seeing some... What looks to be nuclear submarines, potentially. Okay, nice. We're generating power. We've access to totalitarianism. Let's switch to fascism. Uh, plus two era score. We're going to be transitioning to a third alternative here. We'll get plus two culture and plus four gold for every research lab, military academy, power plant, and so on and so forth. And honestly, this kind of is exactly all the things that we have built, with the exception of seaports. I think this is supposed to give you from seaports as well. Unless it's military, re yeah, military research, research. I feel like this should apply to seaports too. I'm just, it's my opinion. Right. Economic union, I'm happy with. I don't think we need to change that. There is a part of me that would like to have liberalism. I can plug that into here to get those amenities. Um, I do think it's important that we get war weariness. Propaganda here for less war weariness. Martial law is also pretty good. So the combination of propaganda, martial law, 15% war weariness from my government and 25% war weariness from my great person means I think I have a 90% reduction in my war weariness, um, which is going to mean that it's very, very hard to have loyalty issues here. We could take Limitanii. I believe Levy on Mass, because right now gold is the thing that fuels my army. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to keep colonial taxes because I get an insane amount of production of gold out of that. And I'm pretty happy with this government. I don't think I would really change anything. I'm not converting production into military. I've got three turns to get loyalty up in here. Let's deploy you to here. Oh, yeah. All right. Pillagers. Mount up. Pillage. Move to here. Pillage. Let's get a tank into Yaks chilling. The great news is we actually got another copy of aluminium, um, which means we can definitely overbuild air units a lot more now. Could probably go up to, I could probably fill another aircraft carrier, which is why I'm glad I have an extra one. I need to be Susan of Antananarivo. So I need to find, here we go. Conservation, get me those three envoys. I need those. Antananarivo is just a great one to be Suzerain of. I'm okay with Ambiorix being Suzerain of them for now because he's currently the one defending the culture victory. Now that we have fascism, we could go for the war department, which gives all of my units 20 hit points when they eliminate a unit. If I wanted to go hard into the science victory, I would go for Royal Society, which would allow my builders to be able to be used to provide a bonus production to a district project. Uh, but I'm going to go for the war department instead. Seaport is up. Let's grab some traders. Uh, trader. Koba. We're going to go continue to blast the city of Koba with our bombers. Um, would be nice to get that city down. Um, we may be able to get it next turn. We're pretty close to getting a golden age, so we might want to look into what we can do on that front. Some of our units are taking damage. That's okay. Robotics has advanced considerably. Let's use this fighter to air attack this cuirass here. My frigate will move forward to blast him. You're going to move back to... I didn't mean to pillage there, um, but it's fine. We can get the kill on that cuirass here. Boom, plus one error score. Lovely. Loving that. I think... I think I want my bombers to hit Uax, Uaxatun, I don't know how to say that city's name. I'm, be, I'm, be, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck 50. Genuinely no idea how to say that city's name. Let's make sure we capture Koba this turn. Boom, Koba is mine, we will keep that city. Let's grab a governor, wrong, wrong, wrong thing to click on. I think we're just gonna grab Reina, pop her into Koba. Loyalty, Little bit more manageable, little bit more manageable in here. Let's make sure we buy ourselves a garrison unit. Nice and cheap, something real cheap. Um, cavalry is a good choice. Loyalty is now positive in here. The conquest is going well. Let's transfer another bomber to the front line. Move this aircraft carrier forward. We'll grab this active bomber. Can we hit this city? Boom. That city will 100% fall next turn. Um, I can deploy my fighter to get better vision next turn as well. I'll pull this privateer back um, to heal in Seajor. Coastally raid that bad boy. You come over here, be ready to raid here. 
We're starting to finish up some of our seaports, which is leading to an extremely high level of gold income, um, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And so most of our production now is being fed in to reinforce the economy um, behind this war. I actually got very fortunate here. I found a spaceport that looks like it's working on a project. So if I can pillage this maybe next turn, I might be able to prevent this from launching. Ooh, one of my privateers was found. Again, I don't mind lo losing these privateers. They've kind of already done their job, right? My troops are merely passing by the Gaul. Uh, we are going to go ahead... Well, do I need to renew that friendship? I think I've prevented the culture victory. So I might not need to redo that. Um, but if I pillage this, I'll get science out of it and potentially prevent them from finishing that project, which is helpful. So Koba is flipping. We've got 18 turns. Blast that city once again. We've got a bomber in here that we'll blast the city with. I want to make sure that I'm leveling up my bombers too when I have the opportunity. It's something that's worth keeping in mind. Can you... Ooh, you're not able to get there. Oh, you can. I just need to hit the city one more time and we can get there. You can get here too. Uh, let's make sure we guarantee that kill. I will deploy you here. There's the vision we were looking for. I'm willing to sacrifice another bomber run. Ooh, I need the vision. You go there, give me the vision. Grab this bomber. Bomb the city. Grab this tank, move up and capture the city. Now we've got a, a trifecta of loyalty reinforcement, which is the most efficient configuration. I need another governor title really bad. I'm down bad for governor titles. I might just have to accept making Carson Kinney. Oh, but it's where No, I can't make Carson Kinney worse. So we'll just have to... Just have to be careful. I'll take Heartbeat of Steam. That'll allow me to get a Golden Age pretty easily. We will keep the city. Minus 13 loyalty in here. Minus 11 in here. Minus 4.7 in here. At the very least, what we're doing is we're, we're taking out the biggest threat. Whether or not we can hold the loyalty is fine. Um, we just need to reduce the pressure. Let me have a look at the pressure map mode. Where's most pressure coming from? It looks like most of the pressure is coming from the Mayan Empire. So if we could take a few more cities, like Tikal, I think Tikal especially. If we could take Tikal, I feel like we got a really good chance. Um, really, 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 really good chance to uh, move forward. Hell yeah, let's make a helicopter. Boom. Now that's a nice helicopter army right there. That can do some serious work on the front line. Seaport completed in Dick Splash. Let's grab the aquarium for amenities. City of Uxwek, whatever that's, however you pronounce it. Let's go ahead and take suzerainty of Antananarivo, which will allow me to move my units through this border. Um, declare friendship, alliance, cultural alliance. Now the cultural alliance will be key here because it'll actually take a lot of loyalty pressure off some of these cities. Um, and it also means that my trade routes with him mean I, uh, I don't have to worry about quite as much from a cultural standpoint. Yeah, only minus 2.9 loyalty in here. Minus 13, that should have improved quite a bit actually. Minus 13, wow, okay. I'm shocked by that. Even if I refresh the UI. Yeah, minus 7.3, way more manageable. So much more manageable. I probably could have secured that golden age by buying a great person or something, but I, I just don't think it was that important. I mean, it would have been nice, but I don't think it's necessary. I think I'm at a point in the game now where it's actually quite hard to stop my domination role. And once, once Lady Six guy is dead, I basically, the timer on me winning the game is my alliance with Gaul running out. All right, let's make sure we use this fighter to do its job, which is to clear out enemy units. Transition these aircraft carriers over to the southwest. Make sure we level them up as we go. We can begin bombing the city of Tikal. I think Tikal will be a two-turn city bomb. Quite tanky. And some of our bombers leveled up this turn. Which will slow us down slightly. We do almost have jet bombers, which will significantly speed up the rate at which we bomb cities. You're going to move towards the front line. I'm going to have you take over this garrison. Do I have a crappy unit laying around? I don't think I need the loyalty in here. It's fine. I got an archaeologist in Jabalpur. Well, I don't think I have any things to dig up, believe it or not. I think that they've all been scarfed up. Um, I will buy a settler, though. I want to try for this oil. We'll see if we can pull it off. It might not work. It might work. But I tell you what, on the verge of taking over the Mayan Empire and preventing a culture victory, I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.